Should we push this sideways? Oh, it's because there's something here. Is that them dead? Uh, yes, that's them dead in there. Let's just move these right down, like so, to get them out of the way. That's them dead, that's good. I think there's anything else in here? Nope, so we've got rid of them all, I think, because I don't hear anything. So let's head down. Yes, yeah, so I just keep moving the boxes away until they get um, killed off, basically. It's fairly self explanatory what you have to do. Let's head in here. Oh, I think I know what we have to do. Yeah, we've got to bring the innocents in here to, uh, to open the doors. Yes, so let's see. There's a there's a final button that we have to press, but we've got to bring all the innocents in here. This is very annoying, I have to say, because it involves a lot of carrying um, of objects. So, let's see. Right, so, drop it. That opens up the door across here. So we're going to get another one. Not helpful in the slightest. We can lock one up, I think, because there's only three of these things. One, two... Yeah, there's only three of them, so... Obviously we're going to lock one up once we've started to move stuff around. To get the final door open. So let's progress into this one and get the... door open. Right, so what we can do is now oh, take it. Right, we can lift that up and lock that one in because we won't need it now, so there we go. Just drop that. And then we have to get the last one, which is so annoyingly further away that it needs to be. to unlock the, the door onwards to wherever it is we're going because I have no idea where this is leading at all. Interesting enough, the levels are getting so hard that um, I think these are going to end up being two levels per session because it gets so long and so difficult. And I'll obviously have to spend some time getting the uh, tons of lives off of level two as well. And so we've got that so we can now exit. Well not exit, so we can progress onwards a bit. Progress through this door. Okay, another little block, uh, another block challenge. I think you've just got to get them all away out of the way here. Oh no, we don't want to do that. Well, we're in the dark, but I didn't really want to jump down there because how the hell do I get back up? Oh no, we're okay, we're covered. That's good. So we've just got to basically move these around to get them out of the way, basically. Fairly self expansion this, just move the boxes around. Yeah, we can box them in like this and kill them all off straight away, so there we go. Alright, so let's just jump down. Taking health damage, not helpful. Right, so that's all the enemies here dead, which is good. So, another two planets. Um, can we get on that? Um, what do we do? Um, there's a, a platform that we're going to get to, but I can't reach it for some reason, so let's see. Let's have a quick look around, see if there's anything of importance. There must be a button or something that we have to press or find within all these boxes. I take it that's what we have to do anyway. Or, I don't know, let's see. Oh, we're on top of the boxes somehow. Um, uh, I think I know what we have to do. We have to push the boxes off and create a stacked set of boxes to... That's why there's a hole here, if you'll notice that there's a... I don't know, is there? 
No, we can't push them off. So, what do we actually do? Um, let's see. Um, is there a door down below? I think there must be. Let's have a quick look below. Oh, for fuck's sake, stop taking fall damage gift. It's not helpful. Ah, yes, there's a door. I completely didn't notice the door. Should uh, get my eyes tested here because. I should be able to see things like that. Oh, platforms to reach the the next the next goal. This one is difficult. It's all about timing for this one because <laughs> Oh no, they fell, okay, fine. They do eventually regenerate, but there was no way I could have gotten that one. Sorry, right, so I have to start again. But at least I got the the planet. That's the main thing. They do fall down rather fast, though I have to say. Just enough time to get to the. Like, oh no no no! Oh, the jump didn't work. That happens to me right annoyingly at the wrong times. I'll press the jump button and it doesn't actually register. So I don't know what's up with that. It's rather annoying to say the least when you're trying to jump and it just falls flat. There we go. Ah, we got to this upper level now. That's that's what we had to do to get to this upper level. We didn't have to push the boxes in to make a stack of boxes at all. That's just absolute rubbish. As you can see, we're back at the start of this little bit. Here's another elevator upwards. Unhelped by the fact we're just going round in circles and I have absolutely no idea where we are because there's no map. Um, what's here? Is it just a room just to look nice? Oh, here's a button. Hit the button and that gets rid of... Something. It open Oh, it activates some um, things to open a door somewhere. Oh, it opens the door out of here. Really? Is that it? Have I missed something? Yeah, I've missed one eyeball in two plants. I don't know even know where they are. Um, so I've managed to reach the exit somehow in this one. Um, that's sort of a letdown because I didn't realise we were getting here so quickly. Hmm, well I'm going to have to come back to this level maybe off camera and get the eyeballs later. But never mind, we finished this level. I'll come back to it another time to get the, the last eyeball. Meanwhile, we're going to head back to level 3 and get the the secret area, that is, so to see what's behind there with the ice power that we have now, and see if that'll count towards the the bonus stuff, because we need to do that. I think I'll end this recording session a bit earlier with only a couple of parts, and off camera I'll go to level 2 and get tons and tons of health just to see if that'll help me out later. It will. I'm not sure why I'm saying that, but we'll go back to level 3 and get this bonus. Uh, this bonus level now that we've got the third. The third thing. So we'll activate this black power only for it to be cancelled out anyway. Oh, then stuff's all active. So I'm going to go right around off camera, get the, the stuff to unlock that, uh, to turn off that thing. And I'll see when I've got the, the thing unlocked. So I managed to get the, the light off for this first bit because that's all we need because it's um, oh, I forgot to say die. Because uh, the bonus bit is just here on the, the left side already active for us. So as before, hit it with the fully charged stuff and it will um, break like so. So there's a little challenge behind here. I forgot to get out the light. Uh, let's see, can we get the... Right, so you basically got to reach the, the end of the challenge. In. Yes, I'm lost. Let's try again. Basically, you've got to reach the end of the challenge in 10 seconds. Really self explanatory, that I think, to be honest with you. How the hell do you reach that first one? That's what I want to know. It's a 10 second challenge, so obviously, you don't have much time for God's sake, stop pointing me the wrong way. Fix the camera angle, it's annoying. Yeah, you can't reach that at all. There's no way unless you're supposed to, um... Actually, hang on a second. Let's just try something here. Let's freeze the bottom. 
up with it and see what happens. Let's see, does that work? Well, that freezes all the bombs so we no longer die. There we go, that's it. Jump through all the stuff and hit the laser. You've won the race. Perfect. And does that count towards it? I'm pretty sure it does. We don't have to go through that again. You have to just basically freeze it quickly and then dive to the end. So we're just going to quit right out of this because I'm pretty sure it'll count anyway that we're done it. We don't have to complete the level or anything as far as I'm aware. We'll know once we've exited this bit if we've unlocked the, fight, the first door. Hopefully we've unlocked the first door. I'm, I'm praying here that I've won the first... Yes I have! I've unlocked the first door to get the better staff. That's perfect. So there we go. Let's go and get it. Wherever the hell it's at. I don't even know where it's at. No, it's not up there, so it must be over here. Let's rush quickly to get this better staff. Because the race counts as a bonus. So I worked it out now. Not all the eyeballs are necessary. Um, some levels have secret little bonuses. And if you complete them, basically anything with that little timer on it counts as a bonus. And if you get it, then you unlock doors. So, fairly self explanatory. So, I've unlocked the left hand door because we've got the two things. So let's go over here. Here is a new staff. It is now more powerful. Your enemies don't stand a chance. So that's the staff. We've got a much more stronger staff. As you can see, it does a red streak, which means it's now more powerful. Um, the next one, I believe, is the triangles. I don't know. But the next two bonuses that we get will unlock the next door. I want to get at least that one and the next one. So I've got the staff, that's one. I want to get the next bonus and then I think I'll be fine. If I get all six bonuses, that's a fluke. It's not necessary to get all six bonuses to complete the, level, uh, to complete the game, though, so... Anyway, I'm going to leave it for this session. I know it's been a little bit short. It's only been a couple of parts. But that was tougher than I expected. Off camera, I'm going to go back to level 2, get tons of health, and I'll see you in the next video with more health and ready to go on to level 6, I believe it is. But, uh, no, level 7. I don't know. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video, guys. Bye now.